I actually invested with somebody in your area in Charlotte and they actually told me they were getting 3% a month returns and the, that 3% return landed them in 158 years of jail time. I mentioned to you earlier that we're, we always talk about our mastermind groups that we're in and how people need to find a group of like-minded individuals mm -hmm. that tribe. Uh, they will help them raise their own bar. And so we talk about collective genius all the time. Mm -hmm. You gave a presentation last quarter that uh, really hit home with me. And I wanted to just kind of touch on that. And it has to do with investors and, and, and real investors, people who have uh, made money. And, and again, this all depends on where you are. If you're getting a late start or if you had an early start and maybe let's say you didn't invest wisely and you had to, you know, start back over again. You didn't mention uh, that in my bio. <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah, it that happens. Short, <laughs> short retirement. Uh, but <laughs> what, what most people are doing, they're, they're trying to preserve the capital that they have and uh, still continue to get a, a decent return. You want to touch on that a little bit with what most true investors are looking for? You know, I think there's a difference between speculating and investing. And when I retired at the ripe old age of 34, uh, I did not know the difference. You know, I started speculating and I thought I'm a full-time investor now, but I was actually a full-time speculator. I was throwing money to the bottom of holes in the ground, you know, thinking it would produce a hundred times as much oil and it produced zero. And I uh, got my friends involved in that one. And uh, also, um, I actually invested with somebody in your area, in Charlotte. And they actually told me they were getting 3% a month returns. And the, that 3% return landed them in 158 years of jail time. And they still oh, wow. won't tell all 2,000 investors where they hid the money offshore. I don't get that. But anyway, it's been 20 years. And uh, so anyway, but seriously, I, I was an entrepreneurial investor, which is really a speculator. You know, investing is when your principal is generally safe and you've got a chance to make a return. And, you know, speculating is when your principal is not at all safe and you've got a chance to make a return. And I was definitely a speculator. I wanted to get the same thrill out of investing that I got from being an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs typically chase shiny objects and they have a lot of fun and they're always in startup mode and it's exciting. But being an exciting investor can also mean being a, a broke investor. Right. Uh, Paul, <laughs> Sam Paul Samuelson was the first economist to win the Nobel Peace Prize from the United States. And Samuelson said, that investing should be boring. He said it should be like watching paint dry or watching grass grow. He said, <laughs> if you really want excitement, take $800 and go to Las Vegas. <laughs> yep. I like the limit of $800. Yeah, right. <laughs>